I remember back in the day when I used to do landscape, I had a landscape company. And, you know, my client, I had this one client, he said, just do what you need to do, man. Just keep it green and nice. And all I would do is mulch that yard. I wouldn't, no fertilizer, none of that shit. Then everybody wants to know, why is his yard so green? This is because every fall, I would cut the leaves up so fine that he wouldn't even know that it was still there. Right now, a lot of people, you will see bags of leaves at the side of the road for the tongue to pick up. What happens is the tongue takes it, the tongue sells it, they make money off of it, and then the, the recycle company that takes that now recycles it and turn it into topsoil, turn it into mulch, turn it into everything that you're going and buy. All right, so they're taking what you're giving, turning it into a product to sell it back to you. Right, so why go through all of that when you have the leaves, um, you have the clippings, you have all these things? Just put them in a pile or even cut them up real small and let's leave them right there. All that extra dirt that I have over there that I replace with compost to plant the berries, now I'm going to take it, I'm going to bring it over here to this bed. Um, this is a, like a, a portable raised bed because of where I am. The soil, all right, the composition or the, how the soil is made up, right? There's topsoil and then there's a lot of sand. Sand stops water. This is why people use sandbags instead of anything else when there's flooding. Now, where they got, where they got that idea from is from paying attention to nature, right? If you look at the beach, if you go to the beach, the water comes in and it slows down. If you go to the rocks where the water comes in, the cliffs and stuff, that thing comes in with a vengeance and just bah! But sand is something that slows water down. So if I, there's a lot of sand in my, um, in my soil that I have here, right? What happens when the rain falls and it, re it really comes down? When I come outside, it could be like a sponge. And this is because the topsoil has so much water in it you walk and it's spongy. Now, this happens because of the sand that's below, right? The sand that below stops the water from flowing at a faster rate, like if it was just topsoil or if it was just soil.